When a quadratic equation consists of just a squared term and a constant, you solve the equation by using the square root rule. If the square of a variable is equal to the number k, then the variable is equal to the principal square root of k or its opposite. You use this rule to solve some special quadratic equations, the ones where b equals zero. They start out looking like ax squared plus c equals zero, but the c is usually negative, and its inverse gets added to each side of the equation, so the equation looks like ax squared equals c. Here are a few examples. Let's solve for x in x squared equals 49. Using the square root rule, x equals plus or minus the square root of 49, which equals plus or minus 7. This checks out because 7 squared equals 49, and minus 7 squared also equals 49. Here's another one. Solve for m in 3m squared plus 4 equals 52. This one isn't quite ready for the square root rule. First, you have to add minus 4 to each side. So, 3m squared equals 48. Now divide each side by 3, and m squared equals 16. So m equals plus or minus the square root of 16, which is plus or minus 4. Solve for p in this one. First, add minus 11 to each side to get p squared equals minus 4. But wait, what number times itself is equal to minus 4? The answer is none that you can imagine. Actually, mathematicians have created imaginary numbers so that these problems can be finished. But right now, we're only concerned with less heady numbers. So, this problem doesn't have an answer, if you're looking for a real number. Alright, no tricks on this one. But the answer may surprise you. Let's solve for q. We actually end up with two completely different answers, not one number and its opposite. We use the square root rule first to get q plus 3 equals plus or minus the square root of 25, which is plus or minus 5. Now we have two different linear equations to solve. q plus 3 equals plus 5, and q plus 3 equals negative 5. Subtracting 3 from each side of each equation gives you q equals 2, and q equals negative 8. This one definitely needs to be checked. Putting in the 2 for q equals 25, and putting in the negative 8 for q also equals 25. So yes, they both work. Now, you won't be boxed in when you apply the square root rule in algebra.